currently on my way down to the metropolis of Featherston. Such a nice place. I'm going to... Okay, I'm about to go meet up with Willis and we're gonna go build a... Fuck, Jesus! And we're gonna build a skate ramp today in the morning and then I gotta head home. I'm probably gonna do like a two hour ride when I get back. And then I don't know what else today holds. Do you, do you, do you guys uh, wanna, wanna see a cock? Cause there's a cock right here. <laughs> Oi, come back here. Give him what? So nailing wood. Yeah, denailing. So like, there was these stacks, and there was like ten of them, and there was one, two, three, four, five, six, up to here. Oosh. Holy oh, fuck! It's a lot of wood. I've stacked all that. This is like towers. Just look up. And then I did those ones. I've done all these, oh, I've done all these snakes here. And then this one, two, three, four, five. There's five of those, six actually. And then all that wood goes down to the end, back of the thing. Alright, we're leaving Featherston now. We're gonna head back up to Masterton because we've got some stuff to do and I gotta go for a ride. Um, that was DJ Willis. He does DJing and stuff, so I'll leave his SoundCloud in the description. Go give him some love. And yeah, I think he's gonna go for a skate and he's got something to do at school. I'm gonna head out for like a two hour ride or something. I did a club ride last night, which went pretty badly because I worked, got up at four, worked and then came back. And then I went real, real hard up the first climb. Like I was averaging like 450 watts. And then I just went boof. But yeah, we're gonna head back into Master now. Uh, Uber for Willis? I love Oh. Oh, no, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> okay, uh, we are back from Featherston. I just went and did a photo shoot with Keyshawn and Willis. Here's the photo here. If you want to check out my Instagram, the username is just Tom McCallum NZ. So go follow me there and give that photo a like. I was going to go for a ride in this video, but it's just started pissing down. So we're going to hopefully wait for that to bugger off and set and then the sun to come out. But until then, these shoes, I think I've ridden in them like four times now and they're already starting to get filled. So we've got this disinfectant wipe. So I'm gonna try and clean these up as much as possible because like they've already got like a little bit of grime. Yes, Lucky. Yeah, they're dirty, eh? No, don't lick the cream off my arm. We'll grab a couple of these wipes because it's already starting to get a bit dirty in here and it's like already got a bit of a grass stain here. So we'll see what we can do. probably as clean as I'm gonna get them for the moment. So I wanna look at getting like, I don't know, it's like a coating or something I can put on them to keep them clean, but I really just need to get some overshoes. Someone said in the comments the other day she get some Velo toes, and I haven't had Velo toes for about a year because last time I had them they just ripped straight away and I just got angry with it and ripped it off my foot. But maybe I will invest in some like white Velo toes or some black Velo toes. There she is. Oh lucky. You've been naughty, look at what you've been doing. All right, Lucky's been getting a bit, I don't know, a bit bored when she's at home alone. She started digging up the lawn. Yeah, that's you, isn't it? There's another dig butt here. Some two digs there, that must have been bloody good going for it. Really going for it, Lucky. And now she started working on her bloody contracting. She's becoming a councilman. So now she's digging up the garden. 
What you doing? Oi! Oi! Alright, we're gonna quickly go over the road and grab my bike from my car from the photo shoot. Here is Cycling Tom's top three tips to riding in the wet. My first tip is to always, when you're out on a training ride, wear a skin suit, preferably a skin suit of a national champion from another country. Oh, this, is, this is really fucking tight. All right, step one complete. I can look like a complete tosser, and that's gonna help, because when you slide it on the ground when it's wet, if you're a complete tosser, the ground doesn't wanna touch you. Right, rule number two is always wear a helmet. This is a pretty generic rule, but you know, I've been told off for not wearing a helmet many times before. Make sure it's all nice and done up at the back. All right, and lastly is to always wear your ski goggles because the bigger the glasses, the cooler you look. The jawbreakers, like, they're good. They're good and all, but they're not as good as these. And they're camouflage as well. These are the Hater Blockers 3000s. Okay, once you have completed those three steps and you're out on your bike, it is now important to take every left hand corner as tight as possible on the wet white line. Yeah, set me free and give me death. There ain't no other choices. When I lay down and go to sleep, I keep on hearing voices. Little whispers in my head, man. Is you fake a lawyer? Why no water? That's the sign of baby pick your poison. These little demons living underneath my bed, creeping. Know the real muscle lives. Okay, the next step is to ride in the 5211. Because when you're wearing a representative skin suit like South Africa, you need to show people that you're not a pussy. Above them all, sleeping. That subtle breathing in your closet every single evening. Thought you never see me again. Looks can be deceiving. When they hear the sound of the drum, they'll be saying, Oh Lord, here they come. Okay, excellent, now you're in the biggest gear. No one thinks you're a pussy. The next step is to ride around and just stay in town so people can see your big calves. Here we come. Huh. Here we come. <laughs> Here we come. Here we come. I used to think that people die because they wicked nowadays. People want to see you dead because you gifted being ready for my tomb since I came about the womb. So no matter what I'm the next step is to stay well hydrated whilst still supporting your local community. When they hear the sound of the drum, they'll be saying, oh Lord, here they come. Yeah, here we come. Huh, here we come. <laughs> here we come. Here we come. I used to think that people die because they wicked nowadays People want to see you dead because you gifted being ready for my tomb Since I came about the womb So no matter what, I'm coming back and paying you a visit Saw it coming, I predicted, but y'all wouldn't listen No, you can't protect your riches if you never burn bridges Flip pages, went places, made changes, still dangerous Now I'm back, altercation, hold still, I make it painless How it feel, baby, when you say you love me is a real Sure. I can't leave my bike outside, though. It's too well, we'll great. Uh, okay. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Nah, no bueno. <laughs> no bueno. <laughs> no bueno on the bike. Apparently, health and safety. He doesn't know the bike outside, and he's like, he's like, nah, health and safety. Fucking health and safety when some fat cunt runs away with my bike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it turns out McDonald's are not a fan of two-wheel transportation and not a fan of rehydrating me with a large frozen coke They've just lost an entire dollar of sales. All right, that's the end of this video Remember if you want to get a Bloody sick bike like Jerry or my old bike Terry go to www.chapter2bikes.com and hook yourself up one of the littest most special and unique bikes on the earth also, a big shout out to Flynn Everingham for helping me film that scene at McDonald's, even though it was not successful. But we'll go back and we will get that done. 
Alrighty, that is the end of this video. Please give it a big thumbs up for me coming out here with my fucking fresh ass shades. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, another cheeky side note. If anyone has a Puerto Rican national track skin suit, hit me up.